Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a review on the Living World Teach and Treat interactive toy. And this is used for all different kinds of small animals. It's mostly advertised for rabbits and guinea pigs, but I think that any small animal would enjoy playing with this. It's an interactive um, toy and it kind of stimulates your pet and also encourages them to forge. And there's three different levels of difficulty um, to provide optimal learning. And I'm going to go over each level and also show you some footage of the rats um, trying to figure it out on their own. So the first level is the easiest and it's just this little plate that goes inside of the toy and you just so your pet can move it back and forth to get to the treat. This is some old footage obviously because here's Mila here. Um, I have had this toy for quite a while and I play with it randomly. I do find it better to put it inside the cage because when they're running around they kind of don't really want to pay attention to it but if I put it inside the cage then they're usually um, pretty interested in it and Mila was the first one to get all of the levels and um, she definitely excelled over the other rats. next level is a little bit harder. It has these little covers that you put over the holes that hold the treat and they do have little holes in the top so your pet can smell the treat that's inside. Here's Ingrid and Iona trying to figure it out. It did take them a little bit longer to figure it out but that was the point. Um, Iona um, is pretty much the expert now at this one. And if you look in some of this footage, they kept thinking that the treat was actually inside the cover once they took it out of the hole. The third level is supposed to be the hardest and you do have to remove the little round plastic piece that's in the middle of the toy and replace it with the white square piece that comes with it. This acts as a barrier and divider so the covers don't pop off like they do on the second level. There's a little lip on the covers so they can just slide around that way your pet can just push it and end up with the treat. You may have noticed in some of the interactive footage Uno is kind of lurking in the background. He was really nervous to be around this toy, it kind of scared him, and I also don't think he really liked having to work to get a treat, so as you can see here, he's still not really that interested in it. But I do think it's a great toy, and it can work for any kind of small animal. It's really fun to watch your pet try and work for the treat, and um, see all the little silly things that they do. It retails for about $13 to $15 depending on where you get it and it is made of a hard plastic so I don't suggest just leaving it in your cage without it being monitored. But I do think that it's worth the money and I'm definitely going to be keeping it. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions just leave them below and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.